Hi everybody, it's Emily. I hope you guys haven't forgotten about me. I have not filmed in forever. There are no excuses for that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna jump right in. Um, today, I am gonna be showing you guys how to do a fresh, lightweight, long-lasting kind of summer base, summer makeup that you can wear either to the pool, to a pool party, um, underneath, you know, your makeup every single day or as your makeup every single day, going to work, school, wherever you please. You like my cherry earrings? Um, so I have a bunch of products in front of me and I'm gonna just go through it step by step, breaking it down on why I'm using it and why it's gonna make your makeup last all day. The thing that you wanna always remember when it comes to long lasting makeup is to make sure that your makeup is been put on correctly. You don't wanna just slap makeup on your face or foundation and think that it's gonna last forever and the whole day. You have to do things properly and in the correct steps. It's just like anything, you, you know, if you're painting a wall, you wanna make sure you're covering up holes and you wanna prime it. It's the same thing with your face. Your face is your canvas and you're not gonna just put foundation on your face. You have to make sure that you're going through the appropriate steps. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do and make sure that you do morning and night and that is medicate your face, especially if you have like, you're prone to acne. I have um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, so I get um, cystic acne. Um, I will link a video, usually there's like a little eye and you can click on it up in the top and it'll pop up um, a skincare video for you if you'd like to see what I do when it comes to my skincare and how I keep my skin relatively clear. There are lingering friends that of course stay, but, and that one's new, but for the most part, my face has come a very long way. I always make sure that I medicate my face with serious skin cares, continuously clear the adult trio. I only have the two right here, but picture there's another bottle right here, and that's the cleanser, and then there is the medicated medicine and then the medicated lotion and it's a trio and it helps my adult acne i never used to suffer from acne until i got into my more mature adult years and that's i never even knew i had adult acne and a lot of us don't know that we have adult acne um i don't do this step every day but if i you know, if you want your face to be kind of glowing and tan without putting a ton of bronzer on, you can get yourself like a self-tan type of serum. This is from Isle of Paradise. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free and organic. And it's, I like it cause it's clear. It's a clear dropper. And I drop it onto this little fluffy kind of kabuki brush from Wet n Wild. It's got sandy from SpongeBob. Um, and I just drop it on there and I just put that all over my face. And that will give me kind of the illusion that I'm a little bit tanner than I am. Um, but yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't do that every day. And that is just if you guys feel like being tanner than you are and you don't want to expose your face to the, the sun and all of that. So then the next. Thing that you should do is always protect you know your under eyes always make sure that you're morning and night doing some type of under eye treatment for your eyes in the morning I like to use from the ordinary the brand called the ordinary it's it's like a caffeine solution um, and it looks like this it's a dropper and it's lasting me forever because it fills up like this and you don't even need all of that. You just kind of put a few on like that and then you just tap it in. So always protect under your eyes and your eyelid. A lot of people forget this. 
And this is just gonna help with the fine lines and the contour of my eye and the hollowness of my eye. Um, but even if you don't have all of those problems, you definitely wanna make sure that you are using under eye. So you medicate, right? Definitely first step is to medicate. Second step is to use a serum. So like I said, an anti-aging serum on your face. I like using from Ole Henriksen. It's their Glow Cycle Retinin Alt. No, Retinol. Oh, I see what they did there. Power Serum. Okay, so it looks like that. It's Age Fighting Facial Serum. And it comes out like this purple kind of lavender shade. Can you see? And I just massage it into the face and off. I give myself like a, a facial in a way. And I just move my face around and I get it incorporated. And I love it because it's got like this pearlescent, it's pearls. I don't know what's in it, but I love it. And I've been noticing a difference. I've been using it. Don't forget your neck. I have a very sensitive neck, so I have to make sure what products I use on my neck, but I do treat my neck with moisturizers. I will show you in just a couple of seconds. I don't like to put heavy, heavy stuff because you see this like little crease right here. Um, things just irritate it. I don't know if I have eczema in there. I don't know what's going on, but I can't just put anything on there so and then the next thing you're going to want to do which would be number three which would be would be moisturize so you medicated your face you anti-aged your face and now we're going to lock it in with moisture now i don't care if it's 90 degrees 100 degrees 40 degrees whatever you should be moisturizing your face whether you have an oily face whether you have dry 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 skin you want to moisturize your face. Moisturizing is going to be that barrier and your skin needs that barrier so that the sun doesn't penetrate through and it doesn't create pimples and dirt and grime. So it is acting almost like a primer, but you know, moisturizer is just so important. It also helps from making your skin look dry and crepey and makeup look cakey and all of that. So I love from CeraVe, their moisturizing cream. Um, it's got three essential ceramides. Um, it's developed with um, dermatologists. You just apply it liberally on your face um, or your neck or your body. I love it. It's non comedogenic, fragrance free. I'm super sensitive to fragrances. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid which helps retain skin's natural moisture which is very important you want to look healthy dewy and glowy um it's just it's so amazing i love it and i use this all over my body I'll, this is what i like to put on my neck and i like to moisturize it's very thick and i i just kind of go up like this and this is me moisturizing my face and put the excess onto your hands. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the beginning of my face. Always medicate and do my serum and I moisturize. So now I'm going to go in with the first thing that I would do pertaining to, I guess, makeup and my face and coverage. So if I'm going somewhere but I don't want something to look super cakey and just plastered on my face like foundation normally would. I love this product. Oh my goodness. It's also from CeraVe. It's their hydrating sunscreen. Okay. But it is not only just sunscreen. You're not only just getting 30 sunproof. You're also getting a sheer tint of like a lightweight, you know, non-greasy foundation. Um, it does kind of come out, 
even though it says non-greasy, it does sort of feel greasy. Um, I don't mind that because I know it's just going to give me extra moisture. And for all my ladies that are concerned if they're already oily, if they're going to look like an oily mess, um, you can always just blot it down with powder. Um, I don't, I don't see how that would, um, really affect it, but I love it. It's mineral sunscreen. It's tinted. It's got, um, niacinamide, uh, ceramides. I don't know. It's just developed by dermatologists. It's amazing. It's going to just give you this gorgeous, like lightweight tint of color and protection. I just love it. I cannot talk about it enough. Now, as you can tell, it's not, it's not covering everything, but it is giving my skin something to work with. It's making it look healthier, glowier. All right, don't forget the neck and bringing it all the way down to the decolletage in here too. Next, I'm taking from e.l.f. their Flawless Brightening Concealer in Fair 15. And I like it, it's this little, little pen. With clean hands, of course, you just start pressing it in. I like to use my fingers. A lot of people ask why. The You know, your fingers are just the same temperature as your face. So obviously it's gonna just melt in better and more seamless. So this is giving you coverage. If you want more coverage than this one, I would suggest, um, you know, maybe something a little bit more heavier, like the Camo 16 hour one is nice, but you gotta work with that one very quickly because it can dry. I love that one though. Or NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is amazing, but we're not really trying to cover ourselves up. We're just trying to look presentable, show up, but have that beautiful glowing skin. Kind of press in all of that. It'll help it kind of melt into the fine lines a little bit more but not in a bad way, in a way where you want it to look skin-like, you know? You want to look like you have perfect skin, <laughs> even though you might not, right? Love using this. It's from Ulta Beauty. It's basically for your lips and your cheeks. I use it as cheeks, lips, bronzer, all of the above. And I use like a little tiny kabuki brush for this. This is from It Cosmetics. And this is from Ulta, and this is in the shade Spicy. I love these things. Oh my God, I love these things. So what I've been doing lately, I've seen it everywhere and it makes sense. It mimics what the sun will naturally do if you had like a sun, you don't want to look like you have sunburn, but you definitely want to look like, you know, you've been in the sun and so that's naturally where I would put it. I know you're probably thinking I look crazy. And the good news is if you feel like, oh my God, you know, maybe you were too like heavy handed, you could always just go right back in with the foundation brush, right? And just kind of blend it in. Now it depends if you want to put um like eyes on, eye makeup, you know. I'm not going to do that today because I'm just trying to show you how to look like presentable but you don't have that much on. So now you're probably saying to yourself, Emily, you have a ton of shine on your face. There's a lot of shine going on. Don't you be worried. We're going in now with our powder. I like, um, it's by Cody. 
Airspun, the original formula, formula loose face powder. It comes in this gigantic thingy ma bob. And I take my handy dandy little little Patrick. I got it from Wet n Wild that collection. It came with SpongeBob and um, Squidward, like all of them. Patrick. So now I take powder and this part is so important especially when it comes to long lasting you're gonna put that powder down where you think and feel like that makeup is gonna run that makeup is gonna melt i want you to put powder on those areas so for me that's in the t-zone and for I would imagine it's like that for everybody. So right in the middle of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, right in this little area, and the chin especially. Um, I always do my upper lip area, like this area, because for some reason, I don't know, it's like the first to go for me. So you see how we just, we took down so much of that shine, the extra shine. Okay. Next step, Makeup Revolution, their MAC Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I'm gonna spray it now, right now on my face, after all that powder. Okay. While that's soaking in, we're gonna work on just some lips, some highlighter and mascara, finish it with this color. And it is exactly its name, Dreamy from Rimmel Moisture Renew 140. I love this color. It's just like so luxurious and pretty. And it just looks, oh, I just love it. It makes my lips look juicy and Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, with it. next, <laughs> mascara. Depending on if you're going in the pool, um, work, it really depends if you should wear waterproof mascara, especially if you're gonna be sweating and you know it and your water, your eyes are gonna run. Um, I would do waterproof mascara. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use just regular mascara and i love this one from essence it's their lash effect i mean can you even just appreciate that 4.99 you're kidding me like is this a joke 4.99 not 24.99 but 4.99 what so from the same line as before we use the powder now we're using the highlighter the face the loose face highlighter now this or you can either use it a, a brush a sponge or you know whatever you feel is necessary i'm gonna take this tart brush and just get a bit of it and then just put it where I strategically want to put it, which is on this upper cheekbone, right up here, right there. It's gonna give just the illusion of everything going up and being tighter, tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. See? Go in the inner corners with it. Okay. And do your brow bone. Don't forget the brow. Super important for the brow bone. Um, last but certainly not least would just be using some type of like, like a matte foundation. Um, mineralized. I love 
Bare Minerals Matte Broad Spectrum. It's got 15 in it as well. So it's got Sunproof 15, Ferro 1, so I'm being extra, extra protected. Fluffy brush. I never leave the house without my sunscreen. And that's the final look. Um, I lied, last but not least, we're gonna spray the face again. Locking further everything into place. Um, and that's the makeup. I'm really satisfied with it. I love it. I wear it all the time, especially, um, you know, I can do this makeup a lot faster than I just did it right now. Um, I was talking and explaining everything, but if I had to be at work or if I had to be somewhere or a pool party or just wanted to feel pretty and cute running some errands, I would definitely wear this. It gives that glowing skin that you love. It's not cakey because you didn't put heavy products on. You put products on, but you didn't put them on. You didn't slab, like slather it all over your face. It still looks like skin. I'll come in real close, you see? You still can see my skin. Like you can still see that I have, you know, imperfections to my skin, but it gives the texture and feel of skin. And it's just a beautiful way of putting makeup on instead of just putting foundation on, concealer. Um, we did bake a little bit, but not, you know, how I usually bake. Um, we didn't put a ton of bronzer on. We didn't put a ton of things. And if you want to contour and highlight and all of that, that is up to you. If you want to do an eye look, I like just putting a little bit of blush in here, or bronzer, it kind of ties everything in and makes everything monochromatic. Um, yeah, and then I like just putting a little, like some highlighter over here on the, you know, where my face would typically need it. And then if you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm sh still shiny, you can always go back into that powder and press it down, you know? Um, and this is really how I've been doing my makeup lately. Um, instead of just slapping on so many different things onto my face, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a lot on my face, but it's all working together and it's, it all has a purpose and a reason um, to be on my face, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's all working together for the same end goal and execution so i love it i hope you guys too i hope you guys try it out and let me know if you like it and let me know what you want to see on my channel let me know what you want to see next um feel free to message me and let me know and write down below don't forget to subscribe subscribe <laughs> uh hit the like button um yeah just share the video spread the love help a friend out maybe he or she doesn't know how to put you know makeup on and or maybe they're putting too much on and maybe they're breaking out or you know this is just a beautiful way to have makeup on look fresh look youthful and even if you are older more mature more mature skin 50s 60s 70s you know it's still gonna make you look beautiful and fresh and glowy. <laughs> All right, this is where I need to stop talking because I just ramble, but you get it, you get it. I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, follow me on my social medias. Those um, links will be all down in the description box on where else to find me. Um, I'm as well as singer-songwriter, so you can find my music on iTunes, Spotify, soundcloud and all of the above um yeah i'm on instagram all of it so i love you guys and i will talk to you in my next one bye